Welcome in everyone. We are here to talk Way of the Hunter once again and this time we have some really juicy details to share with you. First, I want to get into the trailer and have a look at some of the things I really like about the new footage. Then I will have a closer look at some of the details and features that we can dissect from this trailer. If you want to see more Way of the Hunter content, make sure you subscribe as the updates are only going to get better with time. So let's get into it. The red deer are looking so good. It speaks volumes about what we can expect at launch day. Finally, the devs have given the community what they have been asking for. The way the red deer move and react to their surroundings, we can really see how Way of the Hunter is going to separate themselves from the rest of the crowd. The stag munching down on some grass and then marching through the trees in that one shot is just to put it simply beautiful. It screams realism with every movement and from the discord it has struck the heartstrings of a lot of folks. The attention to detail is just awe inspiring. We have so much much to take from this trailer and it's just difficult to receive all of it in one playthrough so I found myself watching it over and over to better understand how this game is going to act at launch day the first thing I noticed in the trailer was when the cabin doors opened we see what is a yard and our Jeep but up in the hill to the right is a shack looking building it does seem to have a smokestack of some sort maybe, but my gut is saying this is our first look at the shooting range. Now, I could be mistaken, it could be a basic building asset for added effect as to how old this property already seems to be, but after hearing there will be a range through the discord, I'd be willing to put my money on a shooting range instead of some smoke shack or some type of asset that is just put there to, for looks. As the trailer plays, we get a good look at the heads up display and how the tracking will work. This really made me happy because it's relatable from other titles that the devs have supported on the HUD we see the ammo capacity, the stance indicator like I've mentioned in previous videos, and then we get a wind direction indicator and a compass, as well as the hunter sense and the toggle objectives that have also been covered in previous videos. The way the tracking information drops down is really clean. And it also shows us here that when we analyze a track, we will get the species, but not much other info. Maybe the perks can help us get more information at higher levels. I'd really like to see what animal I'm tracking, male or female, just for knowledge sake. Just so I'm not tracking a whole herd of females. Yet, this is a part of the challenge to hunting in general, so I'm not going to die on this hill. But, I did notice when we analyze a need zone, we get species, frequency, or how often the animal is there, and the structure, or the basic need such as rest, eating, drinking, I mean you get it. Then as this red deer hollers at us, we actually see the vocal tracking system where we can see how far the animal is, what the behavior is, such as calm, alert, fleeing, th the species, and what sex the animal is, male or female. The bubble seems fine visually, but I could see this actually being a distraction if it's a lot closer and this bubble actually grows in size or is even there at the same size, it could distract you from taking that perfect shot just a bit. Now I could be just over complicating the situation and maybe it's actually going to get more transparent or more visually appealing as we get closer but we are really just gonna have to wait and see until we can really be able to decide once we are down the sights of the rifle is when even more mechanics come into play with the zeroing that has been mentioned and the zoom level of the optic we are using is indicated to the left of our reticle as well as the prompts to adjust each of them is in the bottom left allowing us to zoom in and out and zero our distance per wherever the animal is. One thing I noticed is that when our character held their breath we do seem to get a little more zoom. Now maybe this 
is a hunter sense feature again we are going to have to wait and see at release date or if the devs want to give us a sneak peek in the future now ever so quickly we get a look at another partnership that way of the hunter has made known so subtly the partnership being primos hunting with the blood hunter headlamp seen here it's an identical representation of the actual lamp. It's really cool to see Way of the Hunter spreading out to more than just guns for partnership and keeps my hope up for a backpacking manufacturer to make it in here as well. I don't know, it would just be really cool to see. I might just be silly though. Now, not only did I pick up on that, but it does appear we will have a handheld GPS device much like a garment. We see it strapped to our character's back as he's lining up for those vital hits. Now, I'm interested even more to see what kind of features this thing has. Is it going to be used as a trail cam monitor or maybe just to connect our tracking so that we can easily see where we have gone in case we get turned around. Again, our patients are going to do us a lot of favors here as I don't have a whole lot of answers, just a whole lot of questions. After the shot though, we can see a beautifully designed blood trail that is even said to need updating. That leads us straight down to our animal with a well-placed shot, as when we investigate, we are given all sorts of information as to what kind of shot we actually made. Blood color, amount, and the impurities all tell us what happened to our round. The bright blood indicates if it is actually a vital hit. The amount would indicate how much energy it had at the time of hitting that animal and how far it actually went such as a single or a double lung or even a heart shot. The impurities would tell us what organs were hit as well as air bubbles would indicate the lungs. Others might say stomach matter or bone matter if we make a terrible shot. I'm already impressed with how it looks so any changes the devs see they want to make is icing on the cake. I do like the reload animation but I didn't see our guy rack another round so I'm not sure if we just missed the eject or if they just want to show us part of the clip. But one thing Way of the Hunter did really well was show us what we wanted to see without giving all the goodies up at once. The real investigation starts when we see the Claim Harvest screen. It's loaded with information. In the middle, we see our animal at the state it was when we took the shot as well as the species and genus. Then just below that, it does say first harvest. Now the community isn't sure if this is going to be a first animal harvest, a first hunt harvest, or the first map harvest. And these are all real good questions, so hopefully we are gonna get an answer from the devs soon enough. Then to the right of our trophy is the breakdown of our shot's energy and the amount of kinetic energy or joules it had at each stage of penetration. The 12 different sections indicate which parts of the animals were hit and which of those parts were fatal wounds. Here the demonstrator made a really clean shot so you can see the lungs are going to cause a fatality here. And then the other indicator of the blood probably means that this was the one shot that caused a lot of the initial bleeding. It's a nice breakdown and even gives us our distance, windage, caliber, and the weapon used. At the bottom is our current energy, meaning where the little dot is on the bullet cam scale above. Our total energy and the recommended energy, which would come in handy to see how dense bones are and just learning what we can do differently. That's just the tip of the iceberg as we do see that it will monitor multiple shots with left and right trigger and other categories on the bumpers with bullet cam, overview, hunt, and trophy. I'm kind of curious if hunt will give us a breakdown of the first sighting until we claim it to see how long it took us to actually hunt this critter down. The trophy is probably that complex trophy system we have heard about since day one. The overview is probably how we did as a hunter and overall rating such as the three stars, 
and the money or do we get it don't we get it what kind of points are we looking at what kind of perks are we looking at as we do have the option to sell or taxi the animal right away for money or probably to spend money which now seems to be the question for the community will we have multi mounts when we taxidermy how many mounts or what kind of mounts will we have and in this trailer they did give us a glimpse of what we can do as I counted 11 places to mount a trophy in just this one room. That's not to mention the other cabins and lodges that we may have to decorate. My question now, is there going to be a trophy management system to where we can take a European trophy to the North America map? Or are those trophies stuck at that respective map? I would really like to take a nice red deer trophy over to North America as well as the fallow deer and the roe deer. I, maybe I want to try and get all my deer in one place. All in all, it's an amazing release for the community and holds a bit of everything as everyone seemed to find something they liked in the gameplay today. I can't wait to get out there and see what everyone gets on the first day. If you liked the video, hit the buttons for me and subscribe to see more videos like this. If not, let me know why as I'm constantly trying to learn more about what the community wants to see. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks you for watching another one and as always... Have a good day.